So guys, what's going on? It's D Brown Gaming here. Today we're here to discuss an issue that has been affecting me lately, and that has been the recent death of my cat, Sally. Uh, we used to call her Sally Mae, but it's technically Sally Mae Brown. Uh, I've had that cat for so long, it's really been affecting me, it really has. I just haven't been able to upload videos, it's just made me cry a little bit. And about yesterday night, I'd say, I was crying for like an hour. We, we really spent a lot of time together. It was... Yeah, I had her all my childhood for ten and a half years, so it really hurt when I figured out that she passed away. She passed away on my parents' bed, and yeah... It's just hard to talk about, I'm sorry. But she passed away on my parents' bed, and... Basically, my dad came home, and started digging a hole. Didn't tell me yet, because he wanted to have his all know at once. But my mom comes home, and I'm guessing my dad tells her, and... My mom walks into my room, crying, and I'm like, what's wrong? And I'm like, is Sally okay? Because that's my immediate reaction. I've been thinking, oh no, something happened to Sally. And instantly she's like, yeah, Sally, Sally's passed. So I rush into the bedroom after she told me she was in there. And there she was, lifeless. Her body was on the bed. It was already hard because... My dad didn't want to tell me until my mom, my mom got home, so we knew at the same time. But we took her out into the back, and yeah. Um, occasionally I will have a few pictures of her throughout the video. Uh, I'd really appreciate uh, a like on the video. It, it, it's just sad. I've had it for ten and a half years ever since I was five years old. It really, it, it really bugs me that she's gone. Every day, she would walk up to me when I got home from school, and then she'd have me rub her belly and give her some treats. She was a really good cat. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you a screenshot of her right now. <coughs> But yeah, she was a very beautiful cat. I loved her very much. She would give me lots of joy in life. It was a great time having her while we did. But I'll tell you a little backstory on her to let you know how, like how we met and everything. So basically, it was the last day of school. I was five years old. Last day of school of kindergarten, if you're wondering, by the way. And I was coming home, and I go into the backyard, and under the shed, there were two cats. One was a boy, one was a girl. They are brother and sister. So, basically, I'm guessing the mom just wasn't back to them. So, uh, of course, my mom and dad didn't want me to see them, so I put some boards there, but that didn't stop me. I still saw because they knew what I would ask, but basically, I saw them, and I was asking to keep them, they said we could just feed them, and that's it, outside, we don't want them inside, and of course that wouldn't last long, because the day after there was a storm, and one of them ran away, but one of them stayed, the male cat ran away, so we still had the female cat. So what we did was, I get, um, before the storm, I had named them um, Sally, and because I was five year old, five years old, don't blame me on this name. I did name the male Nice Cat. Don't ask why. Nice Cat, yes. Uh, but just don't ask about that. I was five years old, so yeah. Um. Anyway, that one ran away, and then we were left with Sally, which was the shy one out of the two really didn't want to be picked up or anything. 
So we took her inside. We had a little fence gate sort of thing where the shoes are. We kept her there. And then eventually she was let into the entire house where we had to train her a little bit. But she got used to the litter really fast. In fact, it only took us about a week to get her to normally go to the litter box which what didn't have a hood over it at first but we decided to get a new one that had a hood over it afterwards but yeah so she was now our cat now over time we didn't really have any issues no sickness we didn't have to take her to the vet or anything I don't think except for the time when she had to get fixed where she couldn't have you know kittens but once that was done, you know, it was all good. Everything was fine. And she really didn't like me too much. She really liked my dad the most. But later on, she did, in fact, grow on to my mom and then back to my dad. And later on, uh, I'd say about a year ago, she really started hanging about hang out with me she started sleeping in my bed and everything she did do that a little bit before but it was like for that one year so yeah she started going on to me a lot at near the end of our life and she would, like I said she would always meet me at the door when I came over from school and have me pet her and rub her belly give her treats all that it was a great time <laughs> I remember how, like, whenever I had cereal and I, like, laid the bowl with the milk down, she'd start licking it. Yeah, it was great times. She's a very beautiful cat. And I do miss her a lot. And my plans for the future... Well, we've ar my mom and I have already decided we want a cat and a dog. But I need to get my dad on board with that and I'm not too sure if he's okay with both at all but yeah, and as for the grave uh, I put two, two, one stump near the head and one stump near the feet uh, we did bury her completely under about I'd say a foot of dirt or at least half a foot um Pretty sure it was about a foot of dirt. But I put some sticks around it. We're going to plant some flowers there too. We planted her. Like. In her backyard. And I like how I say plant. But really just bury. Um, we said a few words. Uh, yeah. It, it was very difficult for me. And I didn't really react at first too much. I cried some, but not too much. And like I said, the night after that, like not the night of it, but the night after, I really broke down and just started crying for like an hour. It was really bad. But yeah, back to plans for the future. I would like to get a fluffy cat and then possibly either a Labrador or a Chihuahua. Nope. It doesn't matter which. I'd rather have a Labrador, personally. But I can... I'm okay with, like... A Chihuahua, that's fine. A Labrador and a Fluffy Cat, that'd be great. That's exactly what I want. But... That's all I really have for you guys. Um, leave a like if you... Know how it feels lose someone or a pet and just leave a like in general if you feel bad or sorry or anything uh, I'll see you guys in the next video I upload bye